going on? Jeffrey from Mortgage Lender of Del Kwame, Paramount Residential Mortgage Group with the Got Mortgages. Now, what I want to talk to us today is actually, I've got my little cheat sheet here today with my cell phone, is just some data in reference to an article I was reading talking about the differences between home prices, supply and demand, and exactly what's the difference between the housing bubble and what we're currently going through in this market. I hope this video really helps put some perspective in regards to some clients or really just some professionals in the industry. So one of the things where it goes in talking about 2005 preparing into the housing bubble. So when the housing bubble really peaked, the sales were at around that 1.4 million per sales. We had a clear and aggressive trend downward in sales. Now, right now, what we're starting to see is the uptick of rates, but these upticks of rates are becoming one of the driving forces to some of the slowdowns in terms of volume. It is not necessarily the same as before because right now we're dealing with historical low home availability with supply. Now, we also want to dive into when we talk about this special word of recession, specifically in June, there's a lot of different data that's pointed out where sale inventory and month supply at the end of October for new home sales was only 470,000. This represents a supply of almost 8.9 months at the current sales rate. So again, when supply is 4.3 months and below, it's an excellent market. When supply is 4.4 to 6.4, it's an okay market for builders. And then thereafter, when builders are back on construction, it's at 6.5. So right now, current month supply, we're at 3.3 months, again, which is a lot less than what I had spoke about before, of 4.3 months being an excellent market for builders. So we're starting to see the consensus also with builders, there's really not that much demand in regards to them building home sales or predominantly single family homes. And that's a big driving force that we're starting to see that shortage of supply. People are still currently purchasing, maybe not at the high demand as it was in 2020 and 2021, People are still purchasing with a slight rise of rates and really recently about the last two, three weeks, a little bit of a downward trend, I'm starting to see a lot more mortgage applications come in, giving us that idea. So for new builders, again, guys, the consensus right now that we're seeing is a lot of them are not building as much. They're a little wary about some of the homes sitting on the market. I don't necessarily agree with that term, but there's cost of lumber and things along that nature has simultaneously also been slightly on the rise as well. So again, guys, we're gonna take a look at a lot of these different items, take a lot of these growth charts. I'll keep you guys updated and we'll take it from there.